Hello guys, welcome to the cocktail blog, welcome to my first live stream. To be honest, I'm actually pretty damn nervous. Um, first time I've done it, I did a live chat with Leandro, well tried to do a live chat with Leandro recently and it didn't go so well, mainly because of the internet connection. Um, but that was more of a one-on-one -on -one uh, chat, whereas at the moment I think we have, how many people? I don't even know where to say that. <laughs> Lots. Bear with me guys, we're, we're learning how to do the live stream. Uh, my, my wife's off camera, so she's gonna pass on any questions you, you guys have and forward them my way. <laughs> cool, welcome to the uh, five, 500 people that have tuned into the, to the video to, to watch me celebrate my 350,000 subscribers. Watch me do a few shots, um, probably get a little bit boozy uh, Kat has lined up a number of shots, like three or four shots for me to do. So I have no idea what they are, so I'm just gonna work it out as I go. Um, you guys are more than welcome to suggest some shots. Uh, I'm trying to avoid doing like straight spirits because, well, I'll, to be honest, I'll probably end up doing 10 shots. Um, hope you guys have all got a drink while you're sitting there watching and you can join me, you can join me in on the shots if you've got a, a decent bar collection. Um, I'm gonna ease the nerves by starting off with a shot of Jägermeister. I put a call out on the community tab and asked for some suggestions of shooter recipes and everyone just came back with straight spirits. So, Jägermeister. <laughs> <laughs> they can hear you too, you know. <laughs> I feel like I need music. Cheers, and I hope you enjoyed the um, elevator music to start with. <laughs> to be honest, I really do enjoy um, uploading the videos and oh, editing them because I do have the opportunity to, to cut out all the awkward uh, bad bits, um, which usually there's a lot of, so I don't, I don't have that, that ability to do it at the moment, so. All right, uh, first up, let's make a, sorry, I'm, I've changed my lens too, by the way. Uh, I'm using a, a wide angle lens so the camera's up real close so we can plug it into the laptop which is sitting just off camera here. And I can't stand up. Uh, I'm, at some stage I'm gonna have a guest on, on the channel and you, you'll actually see how tall I am. I am six foot eight. So if I stand up like I normally do, it cuts my head off. Anyways, onto the candy corn. Any, uh, any feedback there? We're having a few 21st birthday shout outs, a few recommendations for shots, some B52s, some wet pussies, but I think you've done them before. Ferne Branca. Someone's. Everyone wants to do Ferne Branca. Oh, damn it. Uh, I joined Leandro's live stream and I, I, I gave him a super chat so that he would do a shot of Ferne Branca, but I joined him really late in the live stream, so I didn't actually realise he'd been drinking cocktails all afternoon, and I think it sent him over the edge, maybe. Um, I found it entertaining. So this one, uh, candy corn, 10 mil of Galliano, 10 mil orange curacao, and 10 mil of cream on top. What kind of uh, requests are you getting come through? Lemon drops, cement mixes. No cement mixes. You guys, you, if you're here, you've probably seen my last shots video, and I did a cement mixer and I almost threw up on the bar. We've had two wonderful people send like those. Super chats. Super chats. Super <laughs> chats. We're we're really new to this live stream and we're all about editing. Especially my my wife Kat. I don't think that's the right one. No. That's right. That's right. I'm not sure if it's heavy cream or I've got whipped cream here. Yeah. Um, that sounds good. No, it was heavy cream. Okay, it was heavy cream, but. Spray cream is more fun. It's done. Uh, I am going to have to try and pace myself as well because uh, the last few shots videos I've done have been over 20 minutes, 30 minutes, then I've sort of cut it down to, to 10 minutes before I've uploaded it. Whether it's at the moment, if it's live and I just do a shot every couple of minutes, then it's going to end up terribly. Um, Lots of requests for absinthe in tequila. No, no absinthe shots. Maybe we're actually, later. We're actually out. 
I'm actually out of absinthe. Um, That's that bottle that we've dragged around. It's a bottle I got from the Czech Republic many, many years ago. Do the shot. Ah, do the shot. Uh, candy corn. Cheers. Make sure you've got a drink at home and drink responsibly as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stefan Foisy said. Hey, Stefan. Microplane's on the way. <laughs> Sorry, Stefan. Um, Stefan's been pestering me to buy a microplane for a long time to, to grab my nutmeg, and I haven't got around to it, I'm sorry. It's on its way. Any questions come through, Kat? Shout out to uh, Aiden and Colin. If you guys are on there, give us, a, give us a shout out, give us a hello. Just lots of shot requests. requests. Red snappers, orange tic tacs, Lots of requests, but no. Oh, here we go. We're getting a few recipes, which is good. Yeah, if you if you include a shot request, make sure you include the the actual recipe, so I know what to what to make. And if I've got the ingredients, and if I think it's going to taste all right, then I'll do it. On to the next one. So I've got another one. Well, first of all, someone uh, asked why I started the channel in the first place. This is going to be a bit of a. a Q&A slash uh, shots video, just so I can space my shots out. Uh, why did I start the channel? Well, I was inspired by Casey Neistat. Um, for those who aren't familiar, he's a, a vlogger. Uh, he makes really cinematic, like, daily vlogs. And not that my videos are anything like his, but um, it was inspirational the way he was doing it so regularly and just building an audience and created a community. and. I just thought I'd do that. I set a challenge to, to do 200 days straight. And sorry, to do a year straight and I only got to 200 days. It was like crazy workload. But um, that's what brings us here today with th celebrating 350,000 subscribers, which is mind blowing. I never sort of set out to achieve this, but uh, it's cool. And thanks to you guys for being a part of it. Part of it. Sorry, I'm still a little bit nervous. Uh, do you see the snack? So How many on at the moment? Just alt tab to flip to the other screen. 646. 650 people. All right. So you were going to do a Scooby Snack, so, but they, Stefan and Educated Butterfly both have paid and suggested that you do half Fernet Branca, half Campari. Okay, uh, Leandro from the Educated Butterfly, if you guys aren't already sub to his channel, make sure you go check him out. And thanks for joining me. Um, this one's a bit of payback, I'm assuming, and Stefan Foisy as well uh, has, has also asked me to do this one. Uh, this, yeah, for not having a microplane. Uh, this is the Ferrari shot, which is half Fernet and half Campari, which... Man, this, uh, this live stream's not gonna, it's not gonna last very long at this rate. All right, half Campari. So if you're in Adelaide and, and you know me, can you comment in the, in the comments below? Insane. Uh, yeah. I just want to see if there's anyone that I, I know personally, apart from Aiden and, and Colin. Oh, comment away. Half Campari, half Fernet. Uh, thanks to Jonas for purchasing the, the Fernet Branca um, using the buy the back bar feature. People have been really responsive to that and which is really, really cool. Um, I'm super thankful that people join in on that. And well, let's just do the shot. Ferrari shot. Thanks, Leandro, Stefan. Uh, that's definitely the first time I've had this one. Do, do I need to give tasting notes on this? Or <laughs> do people want tasting notes or feedback? It's, yeah, that's 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 full on that one. You get this like long, lingering, dry bitterness from the, the Fernet and the Campari. That's a pretty intense shot. I've had shots of those, many shots of Campari by itself, but not not blending the two. By the way, Aiden, if you're watching this, uh, come on down and have some shots. <laughs> um, what's my favourite book? Someone asked. 
Uh, at the moment, I'm quite liking the Smuggler's Cove, which I have lying around. No? Okay. Uh, Smuggler's Cove, Tiki Cocktail Book. Uh, although at the moment I haven't really sort of read it from front to back, I've just been flicking through finding recipes um, and doing them incorrectly actually. The last one I did was the zombie, uh, which called for flash blending and there's not a huge tiki culture in Australia. I'd never heard of the term and I just assumed it was a quick blend. Um, sorry, it's a bit of a long-winded story, but uh, I ended up buying a milkshake maker so I could do flash blending, uh, so I'll do a follow-up video uh, in regards to that. But funny part of it is that this blender costs about 30 US dollars. Spent 30 buying it, 120 to ship it here, and then because of course it's 110 volt and it's 240 volt here in Australia, uh, I spent another 120 to get a transformer. So it's the most expensive $30 blender that you'll uh, you'll find. But that'll be coming up in a in a video soon. Got some questions, Kat? Just say thank you for all the super chats. So many super chats. Uh, thank you for all the super chats. Any names? Can I thank any people? Um, Brooke, Stefan, Educated. Thank you, Brooke, Stefan, Educated Barfly. Chris. Chris Henderson. Janet. Uh, Chris is a big uh, contributor on the Facebook group and, and big commenter on YouTube. Uh, I'll leave a link into the, in the description at some point. So you guys can join the Facebook group, Jordan. Uh, which is a good little community. I think we've got about 2,000 people and it's just a bit of banter and sharing recipes and drinks of what people do. All right, next shot. You guys need to ask me some questions so I can uh, fill in some time between these shots. And no one asks a question. <laughs> Someone asked, do you bartend in Adelaide? Do I bartend in Adelaide? No, I don't. Um, I, I was for the last six or so years uh, running an events business, doing mobile bartending, uh, doing cocktail packages and catering for, for weddings and whatnot. But we stopped doing that uh, to focus more time on our retail business, selling cocktail equipment and the YouTube channel. I have worked in a number of bars. Um, no fancy cocktail bars. This is this has actually just all been <coughs> me reading and, and learning. And I, I actually learn a lot whilst, whilst doing the videos. People assume that I'm extremely educated in the cocktail world, but... Um, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you guys can... Can you guys hear Kat when she speaks? If you speak, Kat. Hello. <laughs> All right, so next cocktail is the banana slip, which is... Uh, Half banana liqueur and half Irish cream. Uh, Giffard's banana liqueur. And a bit of Bailey's. For those who've seen my other other videos, you, you know I love a bit of Bailey's. Was it half half or? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really, it's just that one of the, I think it was the first shots video that I did were just all Bailey shots. They curdled nicely in my stomach. I gotta, I gotta say this feels kind of odd doing a, doing a live stream and not actually conversing uh, like I did with Leandro and had a bit of a one-on-one -on -one chat. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Banana slip. Cheers. Uh, that reminds me of a, a cowboy. It's sweet, super easy to drink. Uh, that, that Giffords, the banana liqueur, uh, has a really good, really good flavour. That was, that was enjoyable. Pretty, pretty easy to go down. So. What question is, what's the best of them both, in your opinion? Uh, Lord, sorry, I can't, can't read my wife's handwriting. Um, wants to know what the best vermouth is. Um, I like using Koki Vermouth di Torino. Um, lately I've been using Adelaide Hills um, Sweet Vermouth, which is a local, sorry, Adelaide Hills Distillery's Sweet Vermouth, which is a local distillery. 
Um, yeah, Koki or Antica formula, uh, which has the, the sweet of vanilla notes. It really depends on what, what drink you're making. Um, been told to smile more. Sorry, guys. I am happy. <laughs> it's just daunting drinking all these shots. Uh, okay, so crouching, crouching tiger. This is a shaken one. So I feel really lazy sitting down while, while making a drink. It's, it's, it's kind of weird, but otherwise I'll cut off my head. So the crouching tiger is equal parts of lychee liqueur and a blanco tequila, which Kat has prepared already. Sorry, I'll sit back down. Uh, so equal parts, I'll just do 15 mil. Once I shake it as well, obviously it's gonna add some dilution, so it's gonna be bigger than a uh, standard shot. So I'll shoot it out of that. So, light liqueur. Uh, Herajura Blanco Tequila. So 15 mil, half ounce. What's going on? Chris Henderson really wants you to do a flaming B-52. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, really wants you to do it. Chris wants me to do a flaming B-52. I don't think I have a lighter or any matches. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, I'll, I'll check. We can't really leave the bar at the moment, but maybe. I'll think about it. Right, so add ice to this one. Shake and smile, that, that was weird. <laughs> um, people do ask about the, why the hell do I actually smile while I shake? It's not a, it's not a thing that I, I, I used to do when I was working in bars. Um, I did it once in a video and people started commenting and then if I, now if I don't do it, I get in a lot of trouble. So some people say it's really creepy. But I don't know, some people like it. So. Crouching Tiger, equal parts lychee and tequila. I used to really love lychee liqueur. Um, it goes really well in a, in a Collins, gin Collins, bit of lychee. It's, it's, it's a really sweet liqueur, but I'm a sweet tooth, it's pretty tasty. Cheers. Cheers. And it's not tasting that. That's horrible. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I wouldn't say it's horrible. It's uh, the dilution helps. If you had that as a straight shot without the dilution, then that wouldn't be very nice at all. Uh, cocktail Cards did a super chat and asked, what is your absolute favorite cocktail right now? And he sends you a big congrats as well. Cocktail Cards, uh, thank you. What's, did he say, what his, what's his name? He just said Cocktail Cards. I should know, he's in the Facebook group. Um, Thank you, Cocktail Cards, uh, for the super chat. And what is my absolute favourite cocktail? Uh, just at the moment or in general? I'm going to say if you had to drink one for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life, what would it be? <sighs> That's really hard. I get asked all the time and I, I dodge the question. I never really give a straight answer and I'm going to do the same thing right now. Uh, it all depends on the mood, the atmosphere, who I'm with. Um, like, <sighs> I, I, I can't go past the mojito. Like, really? quiche, but like, if it's a hot, no, it's a hot day, it's refreshing. Um, if I want to sit back and have something spirit forward, then a Negroni, uh, like, I don't know, I mix it up all the time, and hence, I, I'll, I'll drink anything, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that sounds bad. But. Sorry, I didn't really answer your question, but. Uh, you did your best, ish. Um, my wife loves gimlets and we, we, we drink a lot of those and 
since uh, Aiden, Luke, and I have started uh, distilling threefold, uh, we've, we've made a lot of grapefruit gimlets as well. You don't need a microplane. We need a grater. <laughs> just, just, just mocking, rubbing, mocking you, Stefan. I know. I was like, just rubbing his face. How awful are you? Uh, yeah, so gimlets. I reckon we. That's probably what I've drunk the most of lately. It's because I make you make them. Yeah, because my wife makes me make them all the time. Right. Stefan Asset. Sorry, I, I gotta be. I don't have a, a a dead cat thing on this mic, so the sounds might be a little bit harsh. Has anybody complained about the audio or anything? No, no everything's good. Yet. Give us a thumbs up if the audio is good. Video, no problems with the stream at all. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I forgot that there's actually a 30 second delay from from when the uh, the chats actually start coming through. Um, Someone asked, how often do you drink? How often do I drink? Uh, I do get accused of being a bit of a booze hound. Well, that's a nicer way of saying it. People call me an alcoholic sometimes, only a couple of times. Um, I, I try and limit my drinking. I'm trying not to drink at the moment, uh, which is the only thing that makes it hard is the fact that I'm doing these videos but I feel that, that tasting the cocktails are an important part in, in the video and giving my feedback. Um, in saying that, I try and take as many days off as I can and when I do a video... Just get one. Yeah. Well, you, usually uh, we try and uh, film in batches. So I film like once a week and I'll film three cocktails and therefore that day I'll consume those three cocktails and maybe one or two other. Make yourself run out. Okay, uh, so for an acid, uh, I made this in a in a video and uploaded that quite some time ago, and asked everyone to share it, and it just like went absolutely crazy. Even though no one liked the cocktail, everyone decided to share it just because I requested, and it got like two hundred thousand views in a couple of weeks, so it blew up. Um, I didn't mind; it wasn't too bad. It just needed some tweaking, but I was interested to try it as a shot. So, it's Ye another Jaeger one, uh, Jaeger Malibu and pineapple juice in equal parts. <laughs> Jack asked from Hong Kong if you are growing any of your own garnishes yet or you're still stealing them all from your mum's garden. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I still, it's mainly the mint that I steal from mum. She's got a, a planter box out the back of her house and the mint is just going absolutely crazy. And we, dad's a chef as well, so he takes half, I take half. But there's a lot there. I just can't, I can't actually make enough drinks to go through it. Maybe, maybe when we were doing events, yeah. then we, we used to do, mojitos were pretty much on every single menu. Um, okay, equal parts, so I'll just do 10 mil. 10 mil of Jägermeister. And thanks to Sam Lazarus for the, the Malibu. Mal Malibu? <laughs> it's kicking in already. Uh, the Malibu. He sent me this bottle, bottle a while ago. Um, there's going to be some comments about that. <laughs> he sent me this bottle a while ago. Uh, I think he's from Tassie, maybe? He started it all. He started. Like, yeah, yeah, actually. That's, that's why we started the by the back bar. Thanks, Sam. And 10 mil of pineapple juice. Freshly pressed. That's um, mice. Might do this in glass again. Minus the egg. Down at it. Surfer on acid. Same again, I'll do it in this one because it'll overflow the shot glass. Cheers. Same as the same as the cocktail, same as the video. It needs something else, it's missing some acid. Um, Squeeze a fresh lime. 
Um, that would probably make it a lot nicer. It was okay. Nothing, spe nothing special. A lot of people are asking about the cocktail apps available in Apple and in Android. Can you talk about that? The cocktail apps, yes. Um, if you go onto the Android Play Store, Shake and Strain Cocktails, I, we're actually like number two for if you search for cocktails, which is really cool because it's only been released like three months ago. Um, I think we've got maybe 15,000 users on there at the moment and I'm, I'm continuously adding all the recipes that I do. As I make a video, I add another recipe, but I still have a backlog of older recipes that I need to, need to add, so there is some stuff missing. Most of the ingredients that you use should be in the app. Uh, and when I first released it and announced the fact that it was on Android, I copped a little bit of flack from it. But it is coming on iOS. Um, I, I think it's soon. It's, it's soon. Stay tuned, guys. Um, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of people that want it on iOS. I'm one of those people. I, I'm, I'm an iPhone user. Uh, how, how long does it take to grow your beard? There's, there's mixed reviews on the channel. Every single time I, I shave my beard and people, my wife gets angry, people on the channel get angry, but um, I don't know, I never clean shave. It just, I don't know. How long does it take? Too long. Week or two? Four, well, four to six weeks to get some decent growth. Some d real bush. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have a cocktail request. Cocktail request. From Thomas in the Netherlands. From Thomas in the Netherlands. He asked, it's, and he says a big congratulations as well. It's 15 mils, it's, she ran over my heart with a bulldozer. <laughs> um, so this shot is called, she ran over my heart with a bulldozer. And that's your ingredients. Cool. Okay, so this one calls for any, Thomas, any particular rum? Thomas. I'll, I'll start with the other ingredients. Let me know in the meantime if there's a specific rum that you want me to use. Uh, it calls for rum, 15 mil, 7.5ml uh, amaretto and 7.5ml of tequila. Uh, the poll that I put up earlier as well, there's a lot of people that responded and wanted me to do tequila shots. So, so roughly one quarter and amaretto. Oh. Yeah. Should be a bottle lying around. Fresh one. I really should actually start like a spreadsheet with all my ingredients because the the. the he said Blanco is fine. Blanco, okay. Uh, yeah, my ingredients are scattered everywhere. There's not just what's here. There's, there's stuff on a table back there. There's two bars, there's two, two bars with spirits <laughs> lying everywhere. So hopefully uh, we'll be moving into a new, new place uh, sometime in the future. And our plans are to, to fit out one of the rooms completely as a, a bar, as a bar studio specifically for YouTube. Um, and once that does happen, it's, it's not going to happen for a little while, at least three months or so, um, three plus months, then I'll actually be able to fit it out nicely. This is actually just a, a corner in my warehouse and people often ask to do like a behind the scenes, but it's literally, there's just like pallet racking and boxes and there's, there's shit everywhere. <laughs> no, no one wants to, to do it behind the scenes. It's not, it's not romantic in any, any way. Um, Okay, I'll do a white rum Havana Club. Cool. Uh, I've forgotten the name of this one. That she long... ran over my heart with a bulldozer. <laughs> she ran over my heart with a bulldozer. Cheers, Tomas. Hey. That's not bad. Um, it's pretty potent. It's, just, it's definitely warming. <laughs> Whoa! 750 people on the live stream um, watching my mug. <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> on a Friday. Yeah, thanks for joining me, guys, um, to celebrate 350K. If you've only just joined, 
Uh, 350,000 subscribers, that's why we're doing it. That's why I'm doing shots. Um, I think I started my first shots video when I did, was at 100,000 subscribers and people then expected it like every 50,000. Um, that goes back to the question before about how often I drink. I, I <laughs> didn't want to do it every 50K because I wanted to be a little bit more responsible and I was concerned for my health. Um. A lot of people are asking when will the gin be available outside of Australia? Uh, when will the gin be available? Um, we're looking into different options at the moment. We'd, we'd love to uh, get some stock sent over to the States, as I know many, many people have been asking me about it. Um, other countries, of course, too. Uh, the, the only thing is the States is probably the, the hardest. From what I've heard, there's a lot of rules and regulations. Um, we sent over a bottle for the San Francisco Spirits Competition uh, and one silver. Um, but the, the paperwork and everything, and that was just to send two sample bottles. Um, that was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Uh, other countries, a little bit easier, the UK. Um, that's, a, that's a question that I really have to talk to my business partners about as to, we're, we're working on it and we're, we're looking into it. Uh, Doa has requested that you do a shot. It's Chambord, Grand Manier and Benedictine. Equal. Okay. And say thank you for all the super chats again. Thank you for all the super chats, guys. I'd, I'd, I'd love to be able to actually sit on the computer and, and go through this and, and respond to every single question, but um, <laughs> it's a little bit, a little bit difficult because I'm drinking. You have to ask <laughs> if you're feeling boozy yet. Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you guys hear Kat when she asks a question? Later. Does she need to speak up? Let me know, or let Kat know, just in the comments below. All right, uh, so this is from Doa. The request was, it says not so bad. Did, did She tried it, they tried it. They tried it and said it wasn't so bad, so uh, equal parts. Chambord, Grand Marnia and Benedictine. Grand Marnia, Benedictine, two delicious liqueurs. Oh, sorry, likewise with Chambord. Um, they're, all the oh, they're all on the opposite <laughs> side. So as you can see, I'm like shuffling around, like I'm really quite crammed for space, but you probably don't notice it in a normal video because I'm, I don't have chairs behind here as well. So equal parts. Uh, awesome. Sorry guys. <laughs> Such a rookie. Um, it's exactly like I did last night when I did a boomer moment and I started <laughs> <laughs> someone I, I started streaming and I was sitting on my couch at home. I didn't mean to start streaming. Um, this is my backup camera uh, just on my, my laptop, so it's smooth. You didn't think you were gonna go this long. Yeah, I didn't You're I didn't, gonna shit yourself after ten minutes. I didn't think I was gonna go this long. I, I thought that half an hour was going to be plenty, but it's taken me a while to do the shots. Um, Dan, that's really... You're not full screen. Ah. Sorry, guys. How's that? Much better. Um, all right, so thanks to Doa, I've got the... I don't even know what the name of the, cop, the no. shot is. Are you 15 seconds delayed? Yes, delayed. It's fixed. We're good. Uh, okay, so the Doa, the Chambord Grand Mania and Benedictine. Cheers. Thank you, Steve. Your videos made me uh, get a more solid set of bar equipment in this first. Sorry, guys. You're welcome, Spani. Thanks for the, the super chat. Yes, the shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get out of it. Um, thanks for those who stuck around. We only lost about 100 viewers. It's not bad. Uh, I keep saying, what's Steve short for? Steve's short for Stephen. Yeah, but I'm reading. 
Yeah, yeah. Steve's short for Stephen. <laughs> uh, when will you announce the winner of your gin giveaway? Uh, good question, actually. Um, the that should have been drawn automatically um, a day or two ago. So I'll email the person, the winner. Uh, sorry, I've, I've kind of forgotten about that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch. I'll, I'll probably announce it in three videos time because I've already got um, two videos edited and ready to upload. Sorry, Kat's just in the background. She's messing about with the lighting, blinding me. All right, next shots. What, what do you have lined up for me, Kat? Hey? Oh God! I, I need a. Sorry, guys. I, because I'm now have the laptop on top of the bar. I need something to to rest my my shots and so you can guys see what I'm doing. I can't even remember what a B fifty two is. Uh, And then three boxes of overproof rum to set it on fire. Okay. Flaming B52. I'm uh, going to do half team Maria and half Grand Mania with a float, just a couple of drops of. Sorry? Um, three. Oh. <laughs> I was like, all three, really. Do you want okay. me to hold them up? No, that's right. Uh, with some overproof rum floated on top. Uh, do you, can you try and find a bench or something? Or? Sorry guys, I know it's a little bit annoying with the camera being out and I can't actually hold it up. Tia Maria, equal parts cat. Haven't it? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> my shots my shots aren't that big. I know, I know in the States uh, their shot glasses are like 45 mil, one and a half ounces. In Australia, they're only 30. Um, so anytime, I, I, I got told off about that a lot in the past, saying I'm gonna do a shot of this, um, when in, in fact it was only 30 mil. It was, made a bit of confusion. Equal parts, so a bit of ground money. Float a bit of Bailey's on top. Should also have some Baileys. Yep, I've got the Baileys. <laughs> Sorry guys, after this many shots, my, my brain starts to slow down. Yeah. Sorry guys, just editing the set one second. <laughs> Bit of an ad hoc bar top. Or you'd be freaking. <laughs> I'm too tall. Sorry. So what? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm glad this uh, shot is actually off camera because it, it, it looks shit. It's terrible. Do you need the bathroom to do the three drops? Um, I'd... Oh, drop it and then. We'll layer a little bit of uh, oak proof rum. Normally you can just light the ground money though. Okay. Sorry guys, I was really hoping my my DSLR would, would last. You made me start collecting for my bar. Thanks a lot. Welcome Leon, thank you for the super chat. Sorry I can't. There's so many comments and stuff going on, I can't I can't keep up whilst trying to do shots. After you've done ten shots. Yeah, I really need a jet lighter or something. Hold it up when you it. It's a light. <laughs> Flaming B-52. Well, sorry, I should, I should have left the light while it was on camera. Oh, that's warm. Ooh. That's definitely got some heat on it. Um, 
with that OP on top. I'm pretty sure you can just light the ammonia. I, I haven't done flamed shots or flamed drinks for like 10 plus years, so forgive me if I completely balls that up. Wife does last shot. What do you think about that, Kat? <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking her head. Um, I have to drive today. You're the one that's white girl. Cat's driving today, and uh, I'll I'll get her involved in the video Can't sometime soon. sometime soon. I'm gonna have some guests as well. Um, I feel like I'm just waffling now. Do two more shots. Right, uh, two more shot requests, guys. Cat, bring your shots. That's uh, your wife is the best. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Felix. Like She's pretty good. How do you do the trick where you spin the Boston shaker before you put it on the glass? Um, you just kind of like, I'm, I'm not one to tell people how to flare um, because I'm like a two trick pony. I've got two things. <laughs> I've got one, the, the main one that I do and you probably see it in every single video is just that, that tin roll and you kind of just flick the, the tin and roll it on the, the ball here. It's literally my only trick. I'd love to be good at flare, but... That other guy was trying to teach you Yes, actually, uh, I've been hit up by another flare bartender and he's um, sent me some information about his course. So I was going to do that and then learn a couple of things, break some glasses and do it on camera and, and yeah, basically see how it goes. Uh, keep up the amazing work. Keep me busy during quarantine and made a lot of people happy. Thanks. Sorry. Comments are going too quick, guys. Uh, thanks, Astro Mechanic. Thank you for the super chat. Um, uh, yeah, when I, when I started, I, 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 Cocktails and Dreams. Cocktails and Dreams, yeah, that's the Flair Bartender. So check out his Instagram, uh, CD Bartending. Go check that out, guys. Um, for flaring. There's a lot of tutorials on his Instagram, which are really cool. He does some cool stuff. Um, yeah, in regards to uh, Kept You Busy During Quarantine, that was, I, I tried to start doing like regular videos and start going back to daily. Um, that just, I couldn't keep it up, sorry. We, we were really busy with work. Um, but I did do two, two and a half weeks of daily videos. It was cropped down a bit to one or two a week. 620 still on the, on the video. Thanks guys. <laughs> All right, let's do another shot. Um, cement mixer. No, I'm not gonna do a cement mixer, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cool. <laughs> The duck fart. Uh, I've had a few people suggest the duck fart. Um, oh, yeah. I wrote that one down. Uh, Kat wrote it down somewhere. What is a duck fart? Anyone? <laughs> What's a duck fart? Apart from a grotesquely named shooter. Right. I should just do a shot of something, Kat. What should I do? Um, Actually, I'm going to do a... Um, Mr. Black's. I like, I like pulling out Mr. Black's and teasing people because uh, it's not available elsewhere. This, uh, I think... Yeah, no, no, the Amaro is not available in the States yet. I was talking to Leandro and he said he did get a bottle. He got hooked up by one of the, the reps, I believe, he said. Um, shot glasses. Are we still live? The comments seem to have stopped. <laughs> uh, 56 minutes. Yeah, Everyone's just quiet and, and waiting. Everyone's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's had enough and they're just waiting for the aftermath. They're like, come on. Uh, <laughs> see, she's driving, so just one for her. Shots with St. Germain. But yeah, I quite like Elderflower. Uh, I don't have St. Germain. I don't have St. Germain, but I do have Giffards, which is delicious. Any suggestions? Duck oh, I'm seriously such a rookie at live streaming, guys. The comments were still coming through. They were just... I had to scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> such a boomer move. <laughs> I'm not that old. Uh... Mr. Black Amaro, cheers. Hey, Tori. Tori's on. 
Stefan, no, we are typing. Yeah, I know that now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love from John Tory Huxley Oakley and oh, Baby Winslow. Hey. hey, the hand for cargos. I always struggle pronouncing your name. Do you want to say hi? You do the. I'm gonna find the duck bar. Cass says hi. She's uh, just off getting ingredients at the moment. So. Duck fart, um, half or equal parts of Jack Daniels, Amaretto, and Bailey's. We do have a bottle of Jack Daniels hiding away uh, yeah. in the back pallet, right? Yeah. Sorry, in the warehouse, we've got like loads of booze just in all these different like corners. Um, what's the quality of this webcam like? It's I've only got like a tiny little preview that looks a little bit average to me, but. So, Jack's Amaretto Bailey's. Uh, Sorry guys, I'm starting to become really scattered. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much longer this video is going to last. Um, do you have some more shot glasses, Kat? Yeah. Right, duck fart cocktail. Let's. <laughs> this is so dodgy. I'm making it on a cardboard box. So equal parts Jack Daniels, Amaretto. Assuming the Bailey's goes on top. <laughs> you watching the cardboard box? <laughs> <laughs> Live streaming at its finest, guys. Yeah, I'll adjust it. I'll adjust it. <laughs> Definitely not going to float. That's that's probably why I should keep the camera up here so you guys can actually see the mess I'm making in the shots. All right, the duck fart. Cheers. Oh, it's not it's not a horrible shot, but it's like this. I don't know. There's like a clash of all these different flavors. The amaretto with that that sweet. Tennessee whiskey. What was my first bar job? Um, <laughs> I worked at a place called Horizons, which was a cocktail bar. Um, they called themselves a cocktail bar, but it, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a good first job. I started there when I was 17 um, as a glass collector. Uh, my dad was the, the head chef at the hotel, so as he left, I started there as a glass and then Came a bartender after that. Uh, make something disgusting. Um, no, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play rugby? I must know. Uh, Alicia, no I, no, I don't play rugby. I, I never have. Is there a particular cocktail you like to make differently from the classic? Um, I, I feel like the Collins is like the most easily um, riffed on, not riffed on, but... Like if you if you want to change the fruit flavors, you can simply change the liqueur or the fruit or the syrup or anything like that. Um, nice and refreshing, easy. Uh, just got my bottle of threefold gin. Keen to try it tonight. Hey, awesome, D Slade. Thank you for your support. That's cool. Um, pie wipes, I down cake. Shot of bitters. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I actually, I, I, I'll do it, but <laughs> I'll be here for ages. I don't think I have. That much bitters left in my bottle. I've got three more then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those who didn't hear, my wife's in the background and she said she's got another three bottles. So I know there's, there's like 600 people still um, on the stream, but you guys getting bored of watching me drink? Shot of bitters. Wait, wait why up. Why am I doing this? Because <laughs> we all said so. Let me look at some other options first. No. Maybe, maybe I'll come... Maybe I'll come back to the, uh, the bitters shot. 
brown tequila shot. Please do tequila. Drink some coffee liqueur shots. I did the um, Mr. Black Coffee Amaro, so that's a coffee liqueur. So, yeah. Probably better than with Gentleman Jacks. Yes, 100% it would have been. Um, the, that Jack Daniels that I have was left over from a, uh, an event we did like three, like years ago. three years ago or something. The reason I became a bartender, I was only 17 at the time when I first started in the hospitality uh, and it was my second job and I basically got offered the job. Where was your first job, Steve? My first job, Barnacle Bills. <laughs> it was a fast food place, guys, uh, for those who aren't in Australia. Um, yeah, so I just started becoming a bartender and I wouldn't say a cocktail bartender, just a bartender. And then... Sorry, I, I keep looking at the comments, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to read this. I probably should look at the camera. Um, yeah, I, I got into cocktails when I started my own mobile bartending business, and we started doing cocktails for people, and then eventuated from there, doing that for six years, and then sharing cocktails with you guys. Say hi to Brazzy. Cat, you're the best. Thanks. Worst drink you've ever been asked to make. So that makes sense. Oh no, what was the... You didn't like a pickleback. What, uh, my cat eats french fries. <laughs> Your cat does too. Do you mean the the worst drink to to consume or to actually make? Um, if it's to make, it'd be like a Ramos Gin Fizz and then just because it takes so long. Which I haven't actually done on the channel and um, it takes a while. The bitters will make him suffer tomorrow. It's kind of like a di digestive, isn't it? So therefore, it'll make me feel better. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah? All right. Overdue for a shot, guys. Half shot? Is that it? Is that, is that enough, guys? My wife's, my Ready wife, to go. cat's conveniently taken off the, the top of the bottle so I can just pour myself a shot of bitters. Like AMF, it. AMF. <laughs> Tim, you absolutely love your AMFs. Shots with rum. I need recipes, guys. One part Ancho Reyes. Um, Colin. Hey, Colin. One part. You can't write them in separate comments, Colin. <laughs> 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 Colin, write them in, in, in one comment so I can see it because the, the comments keep going and I, I miss them all. But there you go. Um, thanks for sticking around so long, Colin. And Aiden, I'm assuming. Shut up, Angus, you're a bitters. Thanks, whoever asked me to do this. <laughs> Have some water, I realize your teeth would be gross. I feel like this is starting to become a little bit irresponsible. Did you happen to see Collins? No, I can't see the chat online. Uh, ginger liqueur, Aperol and gin from AM9794. Is that a shaken or just poured? <laughs> Anto Reyes is a chili liqueur. I got this from Rodrigo using the by the back bar and Jared bought the mandarin liqueur, which is... Um, uh, mandarins are a type of citrus. I don't know if mandarins are everywhere or if they're Australian thing. You got a few requests for a karaoke and for a... <laughs> <laughs> karaoke. Karaoke with Stavros. Karaoke with Stavros. Sneed bartender. Farmer's tequila. Sh one shot with uh, schnapps in gem. We call it corn. With bacon and, uh, oh, bacon and mustard um, instead of lime and salt. I'm, I don't have any pre-cooked bacon and mustard. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I, I'd love to do that. Aiden said you need a little bit of yellow chartreuse in that as well. Are they, they're just picking random stuff off the, the back by now, aren't they? Yeah. How about sipping through a Surfside sip? Good idea. you got to Um I don't think I've got any of my Surfside sips readily available. Colin and Aiden, do you have a name for this? Throw some yellow truce in there for laughs. Great stole your Surfside sips. I'm glad I... I'm glad I don't actually have the green chartreuse at the moment. I've, I've run out, so... Is that yellow or green? Yellow. Oh. <laughs> Unless my eyes deceive me. 
little bit of uh, yellow chartreuse. I'm uh, getting a few people leave now, so I don't know. Do you guys think I should call it a day? Yeah, yeah through a surf, Surfside Sits. I, I've given a shout out uh, to Surfside Sits of uh, surf <laughs> <laughs> Surfside Sips a few times. Um, these straws are amazing. I was a little bit skeptical when uh, I got I first got sent one, but they're made of Boris silicate um, glass, and they're like really, really strong. You can actually hit a wine glass, and it will break the wine glass, but not the straw. So, if you want a <laughs> Surfside Sips, SurfsideSips.com with the coupon code STB20, and I'll use it to. Uh, <laughs> that's actually Colin did you just invent that shot it's actually not bad um, spicy I like the heat from that good citrus coming through let's, uh, let's do this weekly thanks Doa I've got one more shot in me little beers liqueur 43 and cream on top yes Vanessa that brings me back. It just so happens that I have a... I don't know if you saw it on the back bar, and that's why you picked it, but I've got a mini liqueur 43. Uh, do you have the cream cap? Um, yeah. Whipped cream. Whipped or pouring? Pouring. Finish the stream with a cement mixer. <laughs> no cement mixer! Uh, Ferrari shot 50-50 of Ferno Bronca. Mm -hmm. Alec, I did that earlier. You need a proper plaid shirt. Booze on the rocks. Yes, I do, David. Can you send me a shirt? <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be going around to, to a friend's place for dinner tonight. Um, oh, this is a child lot. I don't know if that's going to happen. Tequila, Sambuca, and a dash of Tabasco. Hey, uh, Leandro, are you... Any chance you're still on the on the um, on the chat? If you are, let me know, and then we'll have like a, a shot off at some stage. Oh, throw it down. Not a shot off. We'll just have a chat, ask some questions. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little bit lost for words now. It's been, it's been a while. Campari shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. Okay, Cat just one. found a bottle of hot sauce. Convenient. You can put it away, boy. <laughs> I, d I do weigh 130 odd kilos. Um, <laughs> after Toto, who is very bored by you. Doa <laughs> says, let's keep the party going and do another 10. No, Doa, I can't. I can't. It's, uh, I'm, I'm reaching my limit. I had quite a few shots in an hour and 17 minutes. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, yes, Sambuca. Sambuca, tequila, and hot sauce. Half, half. I'm sure it was, was it meant to be with... Um, Probably white to keep, um, same booker, but we don't have that. All right, last shot. Same booker. Tequila. I'm going to use a Blanco tequila. Herodur Blanco. Roughly half-half. I'm sure it's meant to be with a white same booker. One last drink in your life. What is it? This one. Because <laughs> it's going to end my life. No, don't be so dramatic. Uh, two drops of... Two drops of hot sauce? Let's go, let's go a few more. Can, can you do another live stream in an hour to see how it's hitting you? Lol. Um, the live stream will just consist of me laying on a couch asleep. Half Sambuca, half tequila, and a couple of drops of Tabasco. This is like a cruel shot. Be nice. Cheers. I will never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm, I'm getting comments that I'm boozy, so I'm going to wrap it up. It's time to hit the couch, relax. <laughs> I've got dinner tonight, so... Thank you guys for joining me. Um, 
Thank you, Jacqueline Henderson, for the congratulations on the 350K. More hot sauce. No, no more hot sauce. <laughs> um, I'm going to call it a day. Appreciate you guys watching my live stream. There's still 550 people on the, on the stream, which is kind of cool. All different time frames. Um, I'll definitely be doing another live stream. It probably will not consist of me doing shots or this many shots as I have. Um, hour and 20 minutes. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Appreciate all the super chats. I know Kat said that there was a lot of people that uh, sent super chats and I wasn't aware of that because the conversation was going crazy and I was too busy doing shots, getting a little bit distracted, a little bit hard to keep up. But um, Surfside Sips, thank you. Can't keep up. <laughs> Shot of hot sauce. <laughs> no, that will make me feel sick. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining my first live stream. Thank you to the Patreon members that have signed up, that have joined in for the live stream. Thank you to the people that have purchased by the back bar. Thank you everyone. Um, the channel wouldn't, wouldn't be here without you guys and I'll see you soon.